Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be recapping a small trade that was made in the NHL that also affects the AHL as it affects the Roxford Ice Hogs and the Toronto Marlies. Is Chad Christ was moved for Curtis Gabriel. Gabriel, one of the best guys off the ice, and also a guy that's a round and pounder, throwback player that would just stand up for his team and fight anybody out there, but stands up for the LGBT. Q community with the best of them, and he's a fun player to follow, was interviewed by the great Yuri Vorlock of Nitty Gritty, and has been on other podcast as well, and he's a very fun player in interviews, definitely I would say check him out and help out his causes for sure, but Curtis Gabriel moved on, the fighter and the tough Curtis Gabriel moved on as he will now play for the Ice Hog, and now um, Chad Kreis, who's from my local area, um, Philadelphia, obviously I don't know him, but, uh, he's from our local area in Philadelphia, so that's cool, um, he goes on to play for the Toronto Marlies, and eventually, potentially, the Toronto, uh, Maple Leafs organization, where it'll be interesting to see if, with Gabriel, they decide to let him come in with the Blackhawks to add a little bit more punch into that lineup, that they have a solid, um, good game plan, uh, out there in Chicago, but obviously, if they want to add this kind of like an old school puncher into that lineup, we'll have to see. Or if it'll be him going down to the Ice Hog, which would be something that you would more anticipate and expect to have happen. But we would have to see at this point. Curtis Gabriel is a fun guy, a fun fighter guy that will stick up for anybody to watch. Where Chad Kreiss is an undersized um, 5'11", 185 defenseman. Um, but he does cycle the puck quickly, move the puck quickly. Um, and he does defend his zones well and uses his skating speed to the best of his ability. Um, obviously, it depends. His lack of size could become an issue, but he does have a chance to be a good mobile puck-moving defenseman at the very least that bangs off of his team, helping him to get the assist numbers that he needs. Where for him, the big thing for Kreif has been he's only had one full season uh, this far at the AHL level. Uh, which was 41 games in the 1920 season that he played solid with the Rockford Ice Hogs, then had six and eight, so not even a total of 16 games, only a total of 14 games the last two seasons. So he has to play more games. He's a guy that still has to develop, but he's only 23 years of age, was picked in the second round because of his puck-moving skating ability and his good cycling and uh, good like quick-witted decision-making that he has back there. His size was the concern, which is why he was a second-round pick, but it's something that if he can continue to play games, he's only played one full season, which was not even a complete full season. It was 41 games in 1920. Then he, he still has to get games under his belt. I don't envision him being a guy they try to rush up to the Maple Leafs unless if there's more injuries, but he's a guy... That probably could hold his own if he had to get rushed up now. But he's a guy, if you let him develop and come up slowly, just like we see the um, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. I always, I almost said the Maple Leafs, but the Tampa Bay Lightning organization really develop guys at a nice, steady pace. And then the Blue Jackets really do that well as well. They kind of pick and choose the guys like the Cylinders to let come in right away. But then they pick, and, they pick guys that they do develop or they pick undrafted guys up like Robinson that they really develop into a very nice player. But I think it's a, this is a very nice small trade. I think the chance in terms of our NHL value goes towards the Christ side going to Toronto. He's only a 23-year-old former second-round pick, has good offensive value. Um, he reads plays well. Obviously, his size makes him limited in the defensive zone. But he reads the play well, so he can be solid and a pesky guy. Obviously, Kimo Timon didn't have size. You wouldn't accuse him of being a terrible defensive player. So uh, if he can read the play and continue to do that well, the Philadelphia native, I think, can have a chance of being a 6-7 guy for sure and then try to go from there in the Toronto Maple Leafs organization where now he gets a chance to play some games with the Marlies and develop and try to become the player that he truly wants to be to live his dream of getting to the National Hockey League. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to a minor trade that affects the AHL as well as the NHL, um, probably more so on the Maple Leaf side with the NHL. But we'll see. Maybe Gabriel will be used in the Blackhawks system and in their lineage somewhere rather than being used with the Icehawks. But we'll have to see. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the season.